Lastly, I'm going to talk to you about the Gemini female. Now, this is a generalization of the female, the Gemini female. So you can't say, I won't say that this is specific to every Gemini, but typically the Gemini female that's high vibrational, I would think that we all kind of uh, group those in the same, but you'll have different variations. So Gemini, um, of course, is zodiac sign that uh, ranges from May 21st to June the 21st. And the ruling planet of Gemini is Mercury, which is fast moving energy, um, just a bag of nerves. So, you know, kind of flighty. And when I say flighty, I mean like we're like, go, 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 go. There's a fire. We're ready to put it out. So, um, but Gemini is very mutable. So, uh, tend to be able to adapt to any environment. So, um, kind of like a chameleon. So, you know, if you are laid back, the Gemini could be laid back. If you are um, happy-go-lucky, the Gemini could be happy-go-lucky. So Gemini can tend to be whatever. They're pretty much comfortable with changing and adapting to any situation. Geminis are very witty and they communicate very well. They are very up in their head a lot and they tend to overprocess and overthink things, um, simple things, um, tend to be complex things. Something as simple as, oh babe, I like your sh uh, short hair. The Gemini will say, oh, did you not like my hair long? Did you think it was ugly when I had it the way I had it the other day? Did you not like that and you told me that you did? Are you lying to me now? Did you lie to me because you just wanted to get me out of your face so that you could go hang out with that girl down the street? <laughs> no, I'm joking. But seriously, um, they tend to think, you know, a lot into things. So, you know, sometimes that could be a good thing. Sometimes that can be a bad thing because so everything doesn't need to be looked into or thought 10 times over about some things are just you know simple as as is and some things you know do require a little bit more um what's the word a little bit more detail or a little bit more investigation we are the number one investigator so if you want to find out if your man is cheating call you up a gemini Geminis can be impulsive at times and that could be a good thing and a bad thing um, like spur of the moment. So, you know, maybe a Saturday afternoon and nothing's going on and Gemini might say, hey, let's go to Vegas or hey, let's go get married or hey, let's move cross country. <laughs> so yeah, the Gemini can be very impulsive because uh, they are very free and lighthearted and they like to you know, take life by the reins and they want to experience everything. They want to try everything, you know, experience everything. So they can say they at least tried it because they never know, you know, that might be something they want to continue to do. So they don't want to be limited or put into a box and saying that, oh, you have to do everything this way or you have to, you know, make sure that you do this or you can't do that. One way to get your Gemini to resist is to tell her what she can't do. You tell a Gemini what she can't do and best believe she is going to try to do it every day, all day, just because you said she couldn't do it. Geminis are very intuitive um, individuals and so your energy is very important to the Gemini. And if they vibe with you, you'll know because the Gemini will hang around you They'll solicit you for um, outings or, you know, they'll converse with you more often or they'll, you know, invite you places versus <clears throat> if the Gemini feels that your energy or vibes are conflicting with theirs, they will tend to be more introverted. So you won't really get to know the Gemini. And those tend to be the people that think that the Gemini is very superficial or lack um, depth, but really it's just the Gemini has already assessed that 
they're not going to jail or their vibe is very different. So the Gemini likes to reserve their energy for people, places, endeavors that actually is going to put invest, reinvest emotionally or energetically back into them. So Geminis will tend to be very antisocial in that arena if they don't like your vibe. So if you find yourself with a Gemini friend or a Gemini um, in general that just won't talk to you or don't answer your calls or always finds a reason to get out of any engagement, it's probably because that Gemini has picked up something in your vibe that doesn't gel with their vibe. Not to say that you're a bad person. You could be a great person, but it just doesn't mesh with the Gemini's energy. And of course, everyone has their right or prerogative to choose who they want in their space and the Gemini has chosen Gemini's don't like boring and when I say that I'm talking about like in their home life like they want to be stimulated they want their senses to be stimulated uh they want they love excitement so while consistency is great and we love consistency we love stability we also like to change it up so it'll uh, you need to stimulate your gemini um Gemini loves touch. We love to be touched. Ooh. Um, smell, taste. I have not met a Gemini to this day that doesn't love to eat. Um, anything that stimulates in the five senses, your Gemini will love. So if you want to keep a Gemini's attention or keep them interested, you know, stimulate their senses. Like, don't change it up sometimes. I mean, we like consistency, but we also like, you know, <clears throat> to stimulate that exciting side because we do have that daredevil side, like kind of impulsive, like let's go bungee jumping or let's go to Vegas, you know. Um, so definitely have that impulsive side, but we prefer or the Gemini needs a partner that will ground them. So, you know, two impulsive individuals, well, impulsive individual with the Gemini would definitely not work because it, I mean, they'll have a lot of fun, I guess. Yeah, they can have a lot of fun. But as far as long term, uh, no, nah, that's not going to work. In an effort to keep the video short, I'm going to create a part two. If you all like this video, I'll give you some more fun tips about the Gemini female. Um, feel free to comment, like, subscribe, tell me your opinion um, as far as what you think. I'd love to hear from my fellow Geminis just to see what they, their thoughts and opinions are on the video.